Am I the astronaut for not telling our friends that I'm rich? I, 25 female, don't like money talk. I keep it private because growing up, I've seen the things people will do for money. I've seen it destroy my brothers. My parents died when I was little, and I was taken in by my grandparents who raised me. It was a very privileged upbringing, but they also raised me to be frugal and grateful for what I have. I'm incredibly grateful for what I have. I don't show it off or anything. I don't care for labels. Most of my clothes are thrifted. My husband, 33, male, and I live well within our means. The problem is our friend group has just found out that I'm rich and they're mad. We've, we had friends over for dinner and the wife of my husband's best friend went into our office to take a private work call. We've let friends take private calls in there before with no issues. She snooped around while in there and found documentation about my trust fund, my investments, etc. When she came out, she was mad and I thought it was just because of the call. So I left her alone and continued cooking. Hold up. Bish goes into your office, snoops and looks at private financial documents and then gets mad at you for not telling you that you had a bunch of money. That smells like bullshit. She started telling everyone that I was actually rich, showing them one of the documents she had taken from the office. So she took a document too. Cool. My husband took it off her and told her it was none of her business. At dinner, she kept going on about me masquerading as poor because I thrift, have a cheap old car, travel in economy, and don't offer to cover the bill when we go out. That's the big one. That's the big one that she's pissed off about. She's like, oh, oh, you're rich, but you're not buying shit for us. She's wealthy because she's not buying shit for you. Our other friends agreed and they were pissed because I've never said that I have money and never offered money when one of them was struggling. We ended up cutting dinner short and asking everyone to leave. These friends sound like ass bags. I've had messages from them, mostly the women, being angry that I never told them I had money. I've even had a couple of requests for money. One has already asked for 50K to cover their student loans because I had my college paid for. I had scholarships that covered everything. My husband has told me just to ignore them and that it's none of their business. His best friend has called and apologized for all this as his wife shouldn't have been snooping. No shit. I've been very much frozen out from the group. I've been told that I won't be invited to anything until I pay my equal share. And by equal share, they mean I pay for everything. Am I the astronaut for not telling my friends I'm rich? No. Because look what happens when they find out. Holy shit. Not only is it none of their damn business, they violated your privacy by snooping, extracting documents from the office, and then showing it around to other people at this freaking dinner party. This is egregious. This is ridiculous. You need new friends. Do you, do you have the right to know how much money any of your friends have? No. No, and the only reason they give a shit is because they want it. Because they're greedy, selfish, dickbag, prick friends. That's it. They're already asking, yeah, we're really mad. If you give us 50K, we'll feel better about it. We're freezing you out from the group until you pay your, your fair share. And by fair share, we mean you pay for everything. Can't imagine why you don't talk about this, OP. Can't imagine. And also living frugally is how you still have money. Something your friends definitely don't understand because they expect you to just give it all away to them. Just by being friends with them, they're somehow entitled to a share of it. Ah, I'm trying in my mind right now to, to like half of me, half of me, maybe more than half is like, I'm glad I'm glad we don't have these kinds of problems, right? I'm glad we don't have to deal with this kind of stuff. Uh, it's not having to these kind of problems. As OP said in the beginning, money brings out the worst in people. I think it is. Uh, it's absolutely true. It does. How hard would it be for her to like start over and just have a brand new friend group now? And, and how are you going to build that brand new friend group? You're going to have to go start from scratch and do the exact same thing you did before and, and live your life the way that you normally would. It's not like you're trying to deceive people. You're living within your means. You're not trying to deceive anyone. You make choices about how you want to live based on how you want to live. And somehow they've taken that as you've wronged them by deceiving them just because they want some of it though. That's the shitty part. It's just because they want some of it. I don't, I don't, I don't know how you move forward from this OP. Like it seems like it would be a very, very, very isolating experience. It seems like it would be very isolating because you're going to end up if, if people are just innately greedy like this. And every time a friend finds out this shit kind of happens, at what point do you just end up alone and can't talk to anybody because everybody just wants you for your money? 
it seems very dangerous. It is no one's business, Juju Girl, but 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 because people are greedy, I think OP is probably going to keep hitting this cycle. I don't know. Hopefully, you can find a group of friends that doesn't give a shit. It's they have no right to anything of yours. They have no right to know anything about your private life. It is, gosh dang, yeah, definitely okay to cut people off. Definitely. <laughs>